now time for entertainment galore. And here to help you with the DCs is Comic Book Man and Bo. We are being hailed, sir. DC Comic Book News, episode 50. Elastotronic Bird Raisins. Hey folks, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video outhouse. It's time for... DC News. That's right, DC News. And DC News is coming to you from... Alternate Reality, which is located at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Alternate Reality, where all new comics are 15% off every day for everyone, including all the first wave comics that DC publishes, which is just a rounding success over at the DC offices, isn't it? It's doing sure. huge numbers for DC. All oh, the DC offices think it's cool. Uh, fans aren't buying it. Unfortunately, they're the only ones. <laughs> yeah, so, but uh, when, when this was first announced, we assumed that we were going to see The Shadow. We haven't seen the shadow yet, but DC says that we may at some point, so I guess negotiations are continuing, so you can see the shadow involved with Doc Savage and everybody else. Okay. And that's it? That's it. You've read the Flash, or Flashpoint. I'm stuck on the last DVC news we did. You've read the first wave stuff. Yes. It's good stories, isn't it's it? It's very good stuff. Brian There's nothing wrong with them. They're good stories. The art's very, very good, but it's... Nobody buys them, though. I think it's, it's, it's kind of like the uh, Red Circle books. It's like something that... Appeals to a very small number of fans. Well, the problem with it is it's pulps. And as, as much as all of us may love pulp characters and pulp comics, they ain't X-Men. And that's what people buy is X-Men. Batman's got a gun, though. You give Batman a gun if you want, but people aren't going to pick it up. Boy, Neil Adams sure did. Me? <laughs> yes, Neil Adams did. befriended me today on Facebook. Finally, he accepted my... my, uh, my I've been a request. friend of his did for a year and a half. He, did he send you a gun? Yes, he sent me a gun. Speaking of Facebook pals, one of my ex-Facebook pals, Ethan ex. Van, Ethan Van Skyver. He's still my buddy. No, not mine. <laughs> Cuckoo well. for Cocoa Puffs. Uh, but he's working on a new Wildstorm series. Yeah, he's working with Wildstorm on a new series of titles that he will physically oversee, and they're horror-based. The first book will be announced at the New York Con, and Joe Harris, who wrote some stuff for Minotaur Press, will be writing one of them. He's going to do the first issue of the first series, and then he's going to walk away and let some other people do it. He's also still working on a Plastic Man book, which may be announced as well. Oh, and, really? And Wildstorm's doing the return of Cyber Frog. <laughs> Cyber Frog, that was... Uh, Fi that, yeah, it was his that first was work. No, that was continuity, that wasn't was, it? That, it, No, it wasn't, that wasn't continuity. Wasn't it was that continuity? It was Neil Adams continuity? He was self-published. No, I think Cyber no, Frog... No, he did it all. The okay. line is already forming outside. That was the first... Yes, the line is forming for Cyber well, Frog. Well, to show you how really good Ethan feels about Cyber Frog, I mean, about Frog. Cyber Frog, the first stories will not be reprinted because he said they really sucked. Well, but you're going to do a five-issue miniseries involving the same characters. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, but it's not going to suck this time. Yes, it is. I swear to God. Frog with, rep with metal parts. Ethan is a fine talent. He's a great He's a great artist. But he's crazy. <laughs> no, he's not. No, Ethan Van Scriver he's is not. He's different. Ethan Van Scriver is not crazy. He's unique. He, he's unique. Special. He's unique. He's special in many ways because he's a fine talent. Uh, it's just the ways he's special. I don't have a lot of interest in it. <laughs> and he's not crazy. Sure. Well, at least no way that they could prove in a court of law. Uh, meanwhile, meanwhile, Young Justice, the Cartoon Network show, has got something going on. There's going to be a new ongoing Young Justice comic book. Oh, cool. It'll be written by our old buddy Art Balthazar, Franco Ariani, and it'll be drawn by Mike Norton. And, of course, the series is coming out because the cartoon shows up in November. No, so it's another DC book that is based on a cartoon show. Yes, it is. Well, at least DC's doing them. But yes, it would, as I've mentioned many times before, it would be nice if DC would actually publish some books that aren't tied into a cartoon show that are meant for kids. Marvel does it. No reason why DC can't do it with Superman or Batman by themselves or, or any of the DC characters. Anyway, uh, and the last story we've got is there's going to be DC Universe Online is going to be doing some promotion stuff. Well, it has well the DC Universe stuff. Online the game hasn't even debuted yet. It's an interactive game I guess you play on the computer, but there will be printed material available in comic shops for you to read stuff. So they're going to do comics based on it. They're going to do comics based on some of the things in it. Uh, Jim Lee worked on it. He redesigned a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Supposedly from the people who've seen the demo says it looks kind of cool, but there'll be some comics that are tying into that. Okay. So, that's it. We're done. We're finished. We're out of here. We've got no more DC news this time around. But you can go to the store's website and check out all the DC news that Bo sends me that I post up. And where's the store's website at? Sarah knows. www.moralternetreality.com It's number one with computer illiterates. So stop off at the store's website and check out all of his news that he sends me. And until next time, this is Comic Book Man. And Bo. Saying, Ethan, hope you're having a good day. Bye! Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. 
alternate reality hero of the month this month is Wolverine. That's right. The man who's the best he is at what he does is going to be 25% off all month long here at Alternate Reality. All of his soft covers, all of his hard covers, all of his essentials. Every Wolverine trade paperback in the place is 25% off all month long. And uh, our Hero of the Week sale, which is every week, will feature Wolverine all month long. So there'll be a bunch of Wolverine comic books that'll be a buck each all month long here at Alternate Reality. So like Wolverine, we're the best we are at what we do, and that save you money. The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them.